We're on our way to Ontario from Ohio right now. What a great day it was. Uh, quite a bit better today, the videoing from Ohio. You guys haven't seen the drones yet. I haven't seen the drone shots yet from uh, the drone videos yet from Ontario either. Curtis wasn't feeling good, so I don't know if you got them up yet. They weren't up earlier when I checked. But I have talked to Danny and Dominic. He said they both said the horses were good. Danny said gaslighted, made a break. He'd run up on top of Mario, made a break. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. He needs to learn. Right, tight quarters also. And uh, he said he finished up right with them after that, though. He was fine. So I'm waiting to see the videos. We can't do a top 10 list this week until we see the videos. And I can tell you the top 10 list is going to be very, very hard to make this week, which is a good thing. So uh, we're going to talk about the racehorses. I made my mind up. Come Tuesday, we are going to train every three-year-old and every two-year-old in Ohio. That's roughly 70 horses or so are going to train on Tuesday. Now, we could easily just say we'll video the three-year-olds. We may as well just video everybody. So it'll be another video day. Uh, you know what? All winter, it's, I feel bad when we can't video the horses. And this is the most important time of the year because now you are seeing the transition from the horses. Especially, you got to see them Tuesday. You got to see them Friday. And you're, to get to see, you're going to get to see them Tuesday again unless Steve or Curtis can't do it, which is unlikely. So um, I want to talk about the racehorses. Talk about the racehorses, who's doing what. Tuesday also, you're going to see... I had to go around. Tuesday also, you're going to see all gas, no brakes. That's right. We bought them back. We actually traded them back. We traded for Walter's keepsake. So all gas, no brakes is going to train hard at Northfield Park in preparation of going back to Mohawk. That's the plan with him. We're also going to train brakes for landing and get him ready. The reason I'm talking about brakes for landing is he's going to kick off our racehorse list. Brace for Landing trained great the other day. I watched Amy train him the other day. Should it be a shot too? Uh, he trained very good the other day, didn't he? I thought, I was very surprised how well he got around Northfield Park. Um, put on some weight the way we wanted him to. He's really starting to show up. Probably going to go a mile in 2.8 or 2.10 with him on Tuesday morning. Now, we have a whole ton of horses to train. I mean a lot. So brace for landing and all gas, no brakes is just uh, more to throw on the fire. He's not even on the list yet. And he doesn't even have him on the list yet. So actually, all, uh, brace for landing is not the first horse we're going to start with. It will be all, oh, well, maybe because he's a little bit older. He might be on the five-year-old side. No, he's fine. Uh, he's fine. I'm talking about all gas, no brakes. Um, he's not on the list yet. So I'm going to start with all, I'm going to start with brace for landing anyway. He's not even on our list right now, so all gas, no brakes. We traded him back. He's going to train on Tuesday. You are going to see him train on Tuesday in preparation of going to Mohawk six days later on the Monday. There. Now, brace for landing. Trained great the other day with Amy training him. I thought he trained very, very good. I was really impressed with him. Um, I, I don't know if you're going to go with him or I'm going to go with him. Or somebody is going to go with him on Tuesday. And I, I would be surprised if they weren't impressed with the way the horse looks. Because he was very good the other day. Um... Collector was a winner in 55 and 4. He's got that non winners of 4 series coming up. Now, if he wins next Monday, which is possible, if he wins, he will no longer fit the series by a day. So we'll see. Um, if he wins next, today is what? The 15th? So next Thursday is. Yeah, sorry, the 8th. That makes next Thursday the, the 14th. Yeah. Yeah, if he wins, he wins. I don't care. As of right now, he fits the nominators of four series at Miami Valley. That starts on the 27th. Him and Stay Special are slated to go down there as of right now. Now, as we talk about all these timelines, it is important also. We are going to have horses on the preferred sale platform again. Uh, we're continuing to whittle down and whittle down and whittle down our roster until we have exactly what we're looking for. And there are going to be some horses that don't have classes filling right now leaving. There are going to be horses that aren't really maybe racing as good as we'd hope. There's going to be some horses that just don't make the cut that will be on that list. But there will be horses uh, heading out over the next. It won't be this Monday, but the following Monday will be the next for itself. Now, so we started with Brace for Landing. Uh, up next is Collector S. He was fantastic last night. A winner at 55 and 4. I thought... When I see the source, I just see a horse that could be so much better in the future. Addy Bear. Shh. Uh, a horse that could be so much better in the future. Can I help you? Nothing? 
What's wrong? You're supposed to be having a nap, I think. Aren't you? I can see you. Um, so Collector S was fantastic also. Irish Ray will race next week. I'm just, I'd love to see my father and my mother and Ray, all those horses, all those guys win at least a race with this guy. It's been pretty dry getting them uh, getting them to the winner's circle. The last horse they won with up here was that the horse would be sold. What's his name? Marshall. 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 Yeah. Um, Kenobi has been racing great. Third at the Meadowlands the other day. Back to Saratoga this week. Uh, we'll see how he races, but he has been racing very good. I don't think anybody, in fact, I don't think there's ever been a faster trotter in Arabrana than Spitfire overseas now that I think about it. 51 and 1. I don't think there's ever been a horse trot that fast for us. He is some kind of horse, and you know, we always talk about the transition. We, I, I feel the emails over the last month about taking him back or getting in a bad spot, and then all of a sudden, all is forgiven when the horse wins in 51. But you know, Making that horse, those blind switches, you know, I'm not a big fan of them either, but those blind switches go a long way sometimes to a horse coming into his own. And I can tell you one thing, Stacy and Brett have come. What's that? I told you, I, I prefaced that with saying I am not a big fan. I am not the blind switch guy. I don't generally find blind switches. It's not something I've found in my life a lot of time in abundance. If you look at the amount of starts I've gone behind the gate, and then somehow went through those 25 or 30,000 races and looked to see how many times I was locked in the blind switch, the percentage would be staggeringly low. Staggeringly low. Yes. What's that supposed to mean? You want to get something off your chest? Okay. Um, uh, Steel Cowboy, uh, I'll, I'm going to be honest, James did not like today schooling at Mohawk. I didn't find the horse that bad. It's just very frustrating when you got a horse that has talent, is so well bred, and you just can't put the finishing touches on him. His schooler was only in 2 2 in the mud. I didn't mind his schooler, but it wasn't that fast. I thought if we could just get that last little bit of wrinkle out of him, get him back over to Mohawk and let him race, he'd be okay. And James one of them said he was okay. He was very unimpressed, I guess is the word I'll use, with Steel Cowboy Day. We'll see. He's a little bit tighter. We'll see how he races next week. But I guess my next question, now that I said it out loud, would James even take him? No. Chances are no. Um, I jumped over Stay Special. Stay Special is racing great. She races tonight. Very proud of what that filly has become. Come a long way. Broken hobble. Uh, the odds of a breaking hobble again tonight are very, very slim. So we'll see how she races. I, <laughs> you okay, Nut Bar? I have, uh, we have entered her in the numbers of four series. Uh, I entered her also in the Nomers and Four Series at Miami Valley. Okay, stay special, stay a steel cowboy. Tactical Mounds uh, continues to train down and look good. I don't know if she needs to win the, the race bike, but she does a mistake in April. Uh, definitely doesn't need to win the race bike, but may train also in 212, 215 or something. And, uh, I think we'll, if we make the sets up, it'll anywhere be, be between 26 to 28 with Brace. Um, there's another horse that's going oh, all gas, no brakes, and we've trained with 58 and 57. And then uh, we'll see how he gets over Northfield first. And then after that, we'll train all the, the majority of the three year olds will go between 2 9 and 2 13. And then I think that lower end, the horses that don't need to go that fast in pickpocket, Harrison, they don't need to go fast. We'll put mounds into that crew. Um, 2 14 ish, 2 15 ish is where we'll go with them. Uh, next, we have uh, Texan Soprano. He's going to race at Poconos. He's 12 to 1. Poconos. 12 to 1. Poconos. Uh, on, must be Saturday. We'll see how he races. Um, Wallop. I thought Wallop raced very, very good the other day. Really impressed with Wallop. I, I wasn't at the time. I th said, geez, you know, I thought he should have won, but 50. 57 in the slop. It wasn't a good track. It wasn't tacky. It was the slop. And he tried in 57 and 1, so really can't be upset with him. Walter's keepsake, as I said, was traded straight up for all gas, no brakes. I believe that was a, a good trade for us. 
he will race next week. Uh, greatest ending is likely it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Uh, he's likely going to train on Saturday, I suspect, if the weather is good. He's very close to being ready to go. JK Victory continues to jog. We're not training him yet. We'll probably start training him at the end of next week, maybe the week after. We'll start training him. Addy Bear looks like money. is qualified twice now and ready to go, but they didn't fill the open, which I guess is not shocking because the, the New Holland Series is going. And as I said to everybody that had asked, well, are we going to race him somewhere else? No. It's not a big deal. If we can just put some some guarded exercise in them, where I mean, we're going in two minutes, four even quarters, or maybe Harry wants to school him next week. All those miles where we're controlling what he does, does in the mile, controlled exercise, I think will, long, will go a long way for this guy as the season starts up, ramps up, and uh, he starts racing. Because listen, he had 12 starts, made 180,000 last year. He's gonna have to start in the open. That's just the way it is. Addy Barish. Um, Renegade Gypsy's got the rail, and Spitfire's got the nine hole. You know, when you win by 12 lengths and 51 and one, they generally handicap you after that. And that's what happened with Spitfire. He went from racing in the, not even the backup class, the second from the top class, to being handicapped and given the nine hole in the open. That's what happened with him this week. So we'll see how that plays out, but Renegade Gypsy's got the rail, a uh, good spot for him. Sirius Dragon, uh, now he was in 20 last week or 25, I suspect here he's got him around 15 or 20 this week. Um, three point blue chip, I keep waiting for an update or an update or an entry, an entry line on this guy, I haven't seen either yet. I'm gonna have to reach out to, uh, to Tom and Julie again, see what's up with three point blue chip. Unbeatable Kemp will be in to go next Thursday, I believe. Uh, now they moved that class back to not worse than 10. It was not worse than 12. Then it was not worse than 12 again. Now it's not worse than 10. We'll see how that plays out for Unbeatable Kemp next week and thereafter. Yo Mister, 10 hole on Monday. Not a great spot for Yo Mister on Monday. 10 hole in with the likes of Locatelli and those horses. Not a great fit. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, speaking of the aforementioned Locatelli, second in the open last week. He'll be going into the New Holland Series this week. Uh, no free lunch. A little bit of an update. Uh, Dr. Uh, Carter, I believe, said he, he believes he can treat his injury, his re-injury. Um, um, what's the date today? I think next week. I believe he told me next week. Uh, I believe he said next week. There was some time to cool it back out and inject it. And I think uh, no free lunch will be back. I'm going to say April 1st. Um, Oakwood Cowboy is swimming right now. I sent a rather lengthy video out to my partners with Oakwood Cowboy just explaining that he's not sound right now. His foot was bothering him. It was negative on x-rays. The entire leg was negative. Many issues. Uh, minor issues with his... Uh, but nothing nothing that would cause him to be lame. So we're going with the stance that it could, be a, could have been a high nail but, or a plus pocket. But again, I just I don't think we have a firm grip on... Uh, on what is ailing uh, Oakwood Cowboy, and therefore it makes it very difficult to move forward. So he's going to spend this week in the pool, and then we'll do some more diagnostics on him. He's there. He's ready to go. He was qualified, and I don't really know what is going on with him. Uh, stay close. He didn't get in this week. He was in the field when we entered him. We gave him three days off in the field. I wanted to do that because if we went to enter him while he's in the field and he doesn't get in, that would be a start to a little bit of a vacation for him. So we took what would be the lemons of not getting in to go this week and turned it into a little bit of a vacation lemonade. He got, and he'll get another two weeks off, two weeks or two and a half weeks, and then we'll bring him back in. Uh, Kings County was a winner last week. It looked good. He's back in to go where he belongs this week. Um, Delicious Stone DK is uh, in the stall for another two weeks. Treating a minor injury, another horse who re-injured himself, um, went to Yonkers and maybe just the surface, I'm not sure, but it wasn't nearly as bad as we thought. He'll be back, I suspect, by the last week of April, if not April 1st, and uh, Patrick the Piranha is uh, racing today, racing today, that horse. I think he's in later on, though. So good luck to my partners on Patrick the Piranha. So today we have Patrick the Piranha, stay special, we have somebody else, Friday night. 
Anyway, with that, I will let you guys go. I hope you had a wonderful week. We had a great day training the baby state. It was absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to talk about them in just a minute.